I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. Yeah, that's a big old 350 rocket in there. It's a long car though, isn't it? It's coming down. That's a very long car. 1982 Oldsmobile. I was two years old when this car came out. We do all the living, heavy lifting in this household. Ready? Yeah. It's, I'm not doing anything! Oh. I'm doing something. Okay, well, don't push anymore. Ready? Three, two, one. Lift. That's not even caving the roof down at all. This is pure metal. <laughs> this car is made of steel, man. Ooh. Ready? Oh, it's stuck. It ain't stuck. It needs to be lifted up. I'm not big enough. I got a tiny leg. There you go. Now get up. Our design worked flawlessly, Dad. We had that thing in and out in five minutes. Yeah. Ooh, it's a dead cricket. It literally took us five minutes to take the drawers out. The big thing was the top. But we did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. All right. So we're going to set it in here. This whole complete set is ready to go back in the pickup when I'm ready to do that. I'm sorry, it's too many miles. You have to stay here. I'm breaking their hearts, but today's gonna be an 800 mile day. That's, that's too far for them. Especially with just the back seat. In the semi, it's different, but in the back seat of the pickup, that's too many miles. It's gonna be kind of froggy today. I've actually forgotten just how rough this truck rides with absolutely nothing in the back. There's nothing back there. There's no drawers. There's no camper shell. There's nothing. And it rides brutal rough. We are in route for Cambridge, Minnesota right now. Cambridge is just north of Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's about 380 miles from where we're setting. It's going to be a long 380 miles. Once we get up there, we will decide if we're gonna buy this thing or not. If we decide not to, we just come right back home and we bounce and shake all the way back home. If we decide to, we load it up, we strap it down and we have a nice smooth ride home. So we're just gonna have to go from there. Our weather today, we're sitting right at 16 degrees. Very, very foggy out. No wind, that's a plus. Well, even though Opie's not with me, it's still a 125, 150 mile stop. Even though this was a wasted stop, 
I only stopped here for cinnamon rolls. They didn't have cinnamon rolls. No excuses. You gotta have cinnamon rolls. They say it's supposed to get up to almost 60 degrees today. It's got a long ways to go before it gets there. But I'll take it. We're after Thanksgiving now. Anytime you can get a day after Thanksgiving that's going to be that beautiful. Wow. I kind of forgot to tell you guys what we were going up here for. We're running up to the... Well, we're running up to Minnesota to look into a truck camper. One of those slide-in truck campers. I don't know if I'm going to buy it or not. But just in case I decide if I'm going to, we took everything out of the back of the pickup. And it takes five minutes to put it all back in. We're just going to have to definitely have more help with that topper. Hey, we've been camping in the back of the pickup just with the uh, sitting on the or sleeping on the platform that we made and we've been doing that for a little bit over a year and I think I'm ready for just a little bit more comfort I think I'm ready for well both me and bud are ready for uh, well just comfort basically something we can pop up and we can actually go in and sit around and enjoy during uh, the the cold nights you know the last setup we had it was built 100% to keep you outside except for when you were sleeping well when you're camping around home out in the timber you know because that's what we do sometimes it's okay just to get inside and not be outside around the fire the whole night especially after last year's cold streak where we had two months there to where it was under five degrees it's okay. Um, it was a doc corpse within like 11 months, and the man was pregnant. So we moved back to Iowa. Never too early for Taco Bell, right? We are in Albert Lee, Minnesota right now. I tell you what, I think we might have an issue. Let's say I do like this camper and we do purchase this camper. It almost has to stay on the pickup unless I figure out an easy way to transfer the camper and the topper. Because some weight has to be back there. My spine is almost mashed potatoes at this point. This big girl right here, she does not ride nice when there's nothing in there. Wow. Rough. I'm not exaggerating. My hand is actually set. My arm is sitting on the armrest. It's this rough. I hate concrete roads. This is brutal. Night and day difference between blacktop and concrete. At least in this pickup it is. hurt well we made it through Minneapolis pretty smoothly nothing to bother there we're not going to take this way home once we go up here check this camper out we are going to uh, we're going to jump on some two lanes I'm, I'm done with interstate now would be the perfect time just the perfect time to head up to Duluth Minnesota then we could go up to Grand Marais Minnesota check things out goof around in uh, Superior National Forest but that's not going to happen not today but we are definitely not going to take this way home 
with weight in the box or whatnot, 35 is it's not my friend, so we're not gonna take it. I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. Well, as you can see, we bought it. That's the best $600 I think I've ever spent. That's what all right, got it for $600. We have a little bit of work to do on the roof, on the inside. Uh, everything else is great. Cushions are great. All of the cabinets are great. The heater, the furnace works awesome. And then on top of that, it's just cool. And I'm in love. I love it. I love it, I truly do. I'm happy. Hey, if you're wondering, that badass rig right there, I already got a compliment. We've made it seven miles from where we picked it up. And a gentleman came up and says, man, that thing looks awesome. I'm cool. Yeah, that was pretty neat. I actually got a compliment on it before we even pulled out. No, I'm not cool, don't worry, I'm still a dork. It rides great, man, it rides great. We're in St. Francis, Minnesota right now. Our goal is we're going to go find Highway 169, head for the house. Sarah's family is all coming over tomorrow, so that's why we can't go north and explore anymore. It's all right. We're going to get back up there maybe this winter sometime. I've always wanted to see Duluth area in the winter. Always wanted to see that area in the winter. Not 100% sure what town this is. It can't be Mankato already. I suppose it could be Mankato already. 169 is so-so. Uh, it's up in the air. The, the first 50 miles were, they weren't pleasant. But once you got uh, through, it's okay. It's still four lane. Traffic's still kind of busy on it, but it's a Friday night. It's gonna be busy. All right, from here on, we're gonna stop by as many gas stations as we possibly can. I just backed into this spot at another quick trip. Guy walking by, man, that's a good looking rig. It looks well put together. I'm like, thank you. Still a dork, but man, that feels good. That just looks awesome. I can't say it enough. It needs cleaned up. It needs cleaned up big time. Esterville, Iowa. Very festive. Very, very festive. I love the tree. Oh, 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 oh that's just cool. I think we're nine feet. We, we might be. I don't know. 
Well, we had tacos for breakfast slash lunch. And we're going to have a roast beef sandwich for supper. We're in Spencer, Iowa right now. About an hour and a half, hour 45 from getting home. A grand total of 725 miles. Now 75 miles off when we left. I thought it was going to be an 800 mile day. Either way, it feels good to be home. Are you guys staying comfy? Yes, you are, aren't you? All right, well, slide your butt back in. Don't fall out. There you go. Man, the outside looks pretty good, doesn't it? Those are just a few little things we're gonna have to fix. The light, the dents, you know. Actually, the dents we're gonna leave the way they are. Oh, ouch. Hit my head first time out of multiple. The inside, you're gonna have to stay with a creative mind here, guys. You're gonna have to be like, okay, you know, he fixes that, he fixes that, it'll look okay. The ceiling is, uh, well, it's a 30-year-old camper. That's what it is, is it's 30 years old. Somebody actually painted the vinyl or the canvas here. They painted it, guys. What in the world? They painted it. But in the wise of storage, I mean, crap, look at that. Look at that. Let's see here. Got storage here. You got storage here. We could go all day and just look at storage, storage, storage. The refrigerator, the refrigerator actually works great. The furnace actually works great. No clue about the water. Won't know until spring. Who knows? Who absolutely knows? I'm standing straight up. I'm 6'4". If the ceiling was good, maybe a couple more inches, but how much room do you need? The roughest part, I think, in the camper itself is probably the covers. These right here, they're in pretty rough shape. Originally, I was thinking about uh, taking them out and just cutting them out. But I'm going to try to clean them up, see what I can do there. We could sit here and I could just go for an hour probably telling you of things I want to do to it, things I'm going to do to it, things that need done to it. But I, I'm probably not going to do that in this video. Um, this usually isn't our video type, so I need to learn how to record camping, record in a confined space like this. Usually our videos are in that semi sitting next to us. I'm going to try putting one of these camping videos out once a week, at least once a week. So if you're watching this for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you don't like the trucking content, just skip over those and go to the one camping video a week. We'll try that for a little bit, see how it goes. I'm really excited to be able to use this. That truck camper, or the truck topper that we were using with the platform that me and dad built, it was great. It worked awesome, but I needed just a little bit more. I needed somewhere to hang out on those nights where it was just sub-zero, and we get a lot of sub-zero nights wherever we go. This is it. I love this thing. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm happy. I truly do love this thing. It's it's going to be fun to use. It's going to be extremely fun to use. I'm going to leave you there. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.